And he's back. Press record now because Element Skate Team writer Jackass and music producer Bam Margera is hitting the habit, and he's bringing his cohort in crime, Novak. Also, correspondent Robo Hef realizes his lifelong Robo dream and goes to the Playboy Mansion. Plus, one of Bam's favorite bands, Norwegian rockers Dimu Borgir, is bringing us a heavy performance that will pump the heart right out of your chest. I suggest taking deep breaths. It's a deal I have it. How's it going, pal Parnell? And uh, look who's back. Bam is back. Welcome back. And uh, I can't believe you brought Noah back. You're a bold character. Yep. Yeah. Well, brought him to keep yeah. me company. And may I say, no snakes this time, I promise. <laughs> no snakes will enter the stage. Last time we had a, we played a good practical joke on you and you were a good sport about it. <laughs> so you guys look good. What's, uh, what's new? Uh, Making movies? Yeah, we were actually um, in Vegas filming with um, Travis Pastrana. And, oh. uh, this idiot broke two ribs here, and um, I'm passing blood right now through my uh, bowels. <laughs> Keep yeah. it off the stage. That's all I care yeah. about. You went. Up, so. I heard you went up into a little silo, wind silo. Yeah, we did indoor skydiving, and and this moron didn't even watch the video on what not to do. So okay. he dove in and did everything wrong. Flew up 30 feet in the air, and then just nose dived right to the. As ground. long as he's walking, I swear to I swear to God, it's like some of the best moments in your films. So is this. <laughs> This guy right here. I'm just a walking piece of work, buddy. Okay, well, just uh, <laughs> if you need to take a knee at any point, feel free. Right now, we're gonna check out Bam, a uh, little skating in action. 29 and a half seconds of satisfaction. Yeah, 29 and a half seconds satisfaction. Uh, we're gonna get to all the all the things with Bam and uh, Novak in the films, but can we can we point out Dream Seller? Novak is an author, can we say that? The author. The, the author. author. The author. Okay, so you're actually putting words together, making it all uh, happen, right? Yeah, somehow. It took him a year and a half to write it. No, but I, I, you, watching, uh, watching you in a lot of the, the Bam films, Ooh. people see that. They see that you're kind of like the brunt of a lot of jokes, but you take it in good spirit, but Talk about the challenge, like the true challenge of what you've gone through. Pretty heavy, right? Oh uh, yeah, it was gnarly, man. For I'd say a good five years, I was homeless, living on the streets, shooting up heroin, you know, stealing, robbing from anybody. In the world's stupidest criminals. <laughs> ended up <laughs> broke into a gas station during a blizzard. He's like he wins the Darwin Award on some things I've heard. And he sure. went back to the scene of the crime and fell asleep. <laughs> the, the cops make me up. They're like, "Did you break into a gas station last night?" I'm like, "No, I've been sleeping all night in my bed." He's like, "You idiot! You're in the gas station, <laughs> covered in glass and money." <laughs> yeah. But uh, the good news is, uh, I mean, you put it all down for a little inspiration for people to read, and uh, you know, kind of a cautionary tale, but yeah, with, a, with a good ending because you have a bro that kind of backed your program, right? Yeah. He, he pulled me out of it, you know what I mean? If it wasn't for this guy, for some reason, it looks like on TV he's my worst enemy, but if it wasn't for him, you know, I'd probably still be on it. Which uh, leads us to uh, one of the new films that comes out uh, in December for, uh, for the, perfect for the holidays. Yeah. Where the is Santa? We'll throw to a clip because it's gonna kind of explain uh, what we can expect from it. Here it is. So I'm thinking about going to Finland to capture Santa Claus. What do you think about that? That's cool, he lives at the North Pole. Why does everybody think that? Santa does not live at the North Pole. Yes, he does. He lives in Lapland, Finland, in a town called Rovaniemi. Arctic Circle, fact. No, he does. He lives at the North Pole. Did Jesus tell you that? Jimmy, it's fake. <laughs> Jesus. No, no, no. Uh, Santa, does not live, <laughs> Santa does not live at the North Pole. Where do you live? He lives in Finland. So you're going to Finland? I'm, yeah. oh, well, I'm thinking about barging, but I heard it's like a serious hike. Do waste your time because Santa lives at the North Pole. All right, you want to make a bet? Because I'll prove you wrong. Sure. I'm going to go to Santa's house, and I'm bringing him back to Westchester. How about okay. that? You had to look uh, quick, but uh, you make a fine elf, let me say. Fine elf. <laughs> you went on the airplane like that. Yeah. I walked through, the security guard's like, what the? Uh. <laughs> can, we, can we talk about the high point of you kind of getting to know the, the local cuisine? What was it that you ate? Oh, God. The Dudesons, which are the jackasses of Finland, they brought a dead reindeer eyeball, like not cooked or anything, and this idiot swallows it. Then he feels all sick, so I make him eat some Pringles, and how did that feel? 
it just felt like I was feeding the eyeball the whole right. time. So I wouldn't eat all day, and the only thing I ate for the rest of the trip was pizza, just so, pizza. So then the next day in the town called uh, Tampere, he crafts it out in the middle of the street, and the, it, it was just the eyeball. There was nothing else. It's just yeah. located right in the, the big dung. Yeah, it's in the movie. That's a stunt that's never been done before. OK. <laughs> we'll have to watch for that. <laughs> On top of this, you have all, another film coming out for Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, it's called Ming Hags. Kind of the same premise? Uh, no, that's good. basically about um, my friend invents an invention called the garbage juicer, which you could mash up trash of any kind and spits out delicious root beer. And then uh, <laughs> this businessman steals the blueprints, and then we have to like try to win it back and prove that it's ours. Wow, it's so a really doers. goofy I like it. like airplane type naked gun comedy. I yeah. love it. And then on top of that too, uh, like pure skate stuff with the element, you kind of mix both, right? Talk about the, the element video. Yeah, uh, bams or bust. Yeah, uh, element team came over the house for about a week, and we just. Uh, skated and rode around on quads and just wrecked everything. I think every quad was uh, destroyed by the end of the <laughs> Everything was wrecked at your house after they left me. You do have that house, though. It's uh, it's definitely wreckable. You have enough stuff to just play with that, I mean, things can go bad really quickly. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, jumps and stuff all over the place, too. We got an indoor skate park, uh, the outdoor mega ramp, and then And a rainbow. Leading, <laughs> leading the Lance Bass in an astronaut outfit. I know. Right with next the spaceship to leaving him behind because he claimed he was going to the moon and uh, he never did it. Sad days for Lance Bass. <laughs> All right, well, sit tight, guys. You got more coming up. Uh, you're watching The Daily Habit here on Fuel TV. Coming up, a live performance from Norway's heaviest import, Dimu Borgir. What band would you like to see on the Habit?